Todd, even though the first two periods the shots were one-sided, I thought your team was it was fairly even game. And then the third period, did it seem to you as soon as they got the fluke goal off off Benning skate, they just took the game over? Well, I would agree with you. They, uh, you know, after the first two periods, especially after the first, I don't know the shots were 11-3 or something. We spent a good deal of time in their end. We just weren't rewarded with shots. We weren't getting them off quick enough. And a lot of their uh, shots on goal were from perimeter or dump ins. And um, I thought in the second period that con continued. Once we got the 2 nothing lead, came in for the break, uh, I didn't think we were very aggressive. I thought we were playing more to, uh, to protect. And we weren't assertive enough. We didn't play in their end enough. We didn't pressure them below the goal line. And uh, all it takes is one break and, uh, and a bounce, and they're right back in it. So, um, you know, the difference between the two teams is uh, they played to win, and we kind of played to, uh, uh, to not lose in the third. And uh, that's just where one team is now and where the other is and the work that we have to do to close that gap. Is that just a, a lack of confidence, do you feel, from your team? Whereas maybe last year you would have been more assertive? Um, I don't know if it's confidence. It just, you know, it's the way we, we acted or the way we behaved tonight. Um, there's been other nights where we've pushed. Uh, I don't know if we respected them too much, if we... Uh, you know, if we built their game up too much as a, as a staff or a team or, or in the media. Uh, but I, I didn't think we were near aggressive enough um, with our approach to the game in the, in the third period. And, uh, you know, we'll be better uh, next time we play a team like that. But uh, tonight just wasn't where we needed to be for a full 60. What did you see from your grip on uh, the third goal, the game winner, and maybe uh, Kajula to play along the wall there? Well, it was a tough play for, for Drake. There was a reverse that, that got away on Drake. He had to go get the puck, and, and he ended up in the corner with Bacchus, a bigger man, uh, got on the wrong side of it, and uh, they're deadly from below the goal line into that slot area. So um, I think uh, Rusty made a commitment to the post, and it, it got by him into the slot or forwards. It kind of vacated that area already, and Cam, who was outstanding, uh, couldn't make one more stay, save for us. The Strom line had both goals. Uh, Slepshev had another really good chance. It seems starting to see some things from that trio. Do you want to see more of them as a group? Well, a lot of that will depend on how the others are doing. Um, we've got to build different lines every night. Um, I've liked Stromer's game the last three. I think he's been around the net. He's had chances. He's uh, shooting the puck more, creating offense for himself and for others. Um, Anton is, has improved immensely over the past little bit, so, so that's been good. And JJ's finally decided to shoot the puck again. Um, there's a lot of times he gets over the line and quits moving and he's looking to make passes. I think he's got one of the best shots on our team, and when he uses it, it can be a, a dangerous thing. Can you talk a little about, a bit about your, your goalie's game tonight? He played outstanding. One of his yeah, as I said, he was outstanding. Uh, you know, he had work in the first period. I don't know if it was overly taxing. There was a couple uh, dangerous plays, but they had 10 shots on their on their power play opportunities, and I thought he was he did some of his best work in that situation. So it's too bad we couldn't reward him uh, with a win or, or find an extra goal or a way to prevent because I thought it was one of his better games uh, in a while.